Here's a few things that might make your first time playing Kingdom a little bit easier. You might think your most precious resource early in the game is gold, but it's actually population. Preserve camps for as long as you can to recruit people to your kingdom on a daily basis. Don't be too worried about building walls and towers the first few nights. Until your first blood moon, unguarded archers have an easy time dispatching monsters without much defense. Upgrading your central keep without building the innermost walls or towers will eventually give you free walls and towers. The merchant with a pack mule is always worth the investment, but it's better to wait until after the first or second blood moon. If he stocks you up on hammers when you really need archers, it's gonna be bad. There's also a chance he'll add tools to a rack that already has tools stocked, lowering the value. You can pay off the smaller monsters with coins, making assaults much easier to deal with. Careful of your own troops picking up the coins first though. Blood moons will happen every fifth night. Enemies will only come from one side during the blood moon. The next night, no monsters will show up, giving you a chance to recover. Explore early to find out what shrines are near you. You can invest in archer and builder statues three times. The statues will lose one charge per day, necessitating revisiting them at least once every three in-game days. The sooner you can build farms, the sooner gold will no longer be an issue for you. Farmers and builders will stay at upgraded farms instead of falling back to cover, so don't upgrade them until you can defend the area. Your main objective to end the game is destroying enemy portals by sending knights forward to assault them. These portals scale in difficulty as the game goes on, meaning your game can be significantly easier by attacking them early. Don't expand too close to portals. Archers will wander forward and attack, triggering waves of enemies. Look for this specific type of grass. It's the only grass your horse will eat. Waiting a few seconds until the horse is finished eating will give your horse a well-fed buff, letting it run for much longer. I hope a few of these tips will make Kingdom go a bit more smoothly. Leave a comment below if there's anything you think a new player to Kingdom ought to know. You can also check out our review of Kingdom or see some of our other tips and tricks. As always, thanks for watching.